his brother died. That's the traumatic memory from his childhood. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and today we're going to be watching the fifth and the sixth episode of Moon Knight. Now, if I sound really nasally, it's because I still have COVID. I am on day five of isolation. I have two days left. I am a little bit tired. I am a little bit nasally. I might cough. I don't know. We'll see. I normally cough at night, but I've taken all my vitamins and I've had my soup and I'm ready to react to this fifth episode. I'm combining five and six so that I don't have to edit um, episode five straight away and post it out um, ASAP. I can take my time with it and just kind of relax and do it. But I am really excited because last week's episode was crazy. What the hell was up with that ending? I'm very confused. This episode is called Asylum, but before we get into it, just want to remind you guys that the uncut version of this episode is available over on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below. You can also subscribe because I react to pretty much everything MCU. So you can show your support, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And let's get into this fifth episode together. Ooh, could this little boy be <laughs> Stephen oh. Mark? You're fine! Oh, no. You're not really a doctor. <laughs> Whoever Somebody was yelling at him may have been his mother. Sideboard. Maybe he had a very traumatic childhood. Well, before you got upset, you were talking to me about a boy? Yes, I think that Do little boy that might boy? be him. And that screaming lady maybe is his mom? Hey, thank you. I feel really great oh he's lying <laughs> i mean they must pay you a lot of money oh, really. of course there's a panic oh, button like <laughs> oh my god this is so intense holy crap i'm afraid you're actually quite dead what i'm dead we're dead yes that wouldn't make sense since they got dead. shot welcome to the realm of the jewot jewot the egyptian underworld oh goddess uh -huh. of women and children oh wow she's guiding us through our journey to the afterlife but she's the goddess oh, of okay. women and children he's the, a dude the afterlife An afterlife not the afterlife you'd be surprised how many intersectional planes of untethered consciousness exist <laughs> and he had to end up here you actually in a psych ward even in the afterlife a psych oh. ward's a first for me but right so it's what his mind conjured up. Why would we imagine this realm to be a psychiatric hospital? Because we're insane. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Whoa. If your heart's balanced in life, then you will spend eternity in paradise. Balance. I don't know if he's balanced. What the hell? Oh. <gasps> Whoa, what's oh, with their hearts? Work. Look at that. Okay. Here's little old me worrying I'd blow your chest wide open. Uh, Sorry, what? That you... was risky then, if she didn't she know. Hearts on the scales of justice. Egyptians believed that the heart was, was the sign of who you really were in love. What if they don't balance? That's kind of scary. Overboard. I mean, as long as they're not conscious for it, it's not bad, that deal. <laughs> I do not have a card. It's confused. Why don't they why don't you just one at a time? It's the hearts. They aren't full. Oh god. Me. Now I don't know what you two guys have been hiding, but my advice, get in there and show each other the truth. I think it's not balanced be because there's a third personality. And this ship can't be that hard to steer. So oh my god. We don't have to actually, you know, like, what? kill the goddess to win it. Yeah. Or we can do what she says and like help each other uncover whatever it is that yeah. we're Yeah. Don't need to turn to murder. Why is that your. Oh, QR code. What are we gonna do That's here? so we're cool. Visit every single memory I've ever I want to come back and see if it works. Oh my Just god, a zombies. Creepy calf filled with dead bodies. So Yuck, I hate zombies. You killed all of them? What? Or criminals, murderers. Oh. Meant by protecting the travelers of the night. Right. Oh, that's haunting. I kept wishing I'd fail. And one of them would kill me instead. 
Country has kind of screwed with him even more. Who's that? I think that's him. Oh, as a Why boy. Is there a child in a room filled with people that you've killed. Oh. Let's let's hope he didn't kill the boy. Hold on there. Wait a moment. Wait, wait a moment. Mark doesn't want him to talk to him. Why does Mark have to yell so much? Chill, dude. Open the door. Mom. Mom, I knew it. Roro. Mark, come check Roro. out my closet. Roro. the fish with only one fin. Mark, be nice to your little brother. Mark, okay. I'm not hungry. Wanna go to the cave? Aww. We'll eat later. So cute. So he was born Mark. Can you hear that, Dr. Grant? I sure do, Rosa. He's always known of that show. As a kid. Oh, the bones of a bird that looks like Honshu. What a cool cave. Reminds me of Elden Ring. <laughs> the water's rising way too fast. Oh god. I mean, he should realize everybody's dead here anyway, right? Oh my god, Steven's gonna get himself killed again. <laughs> Oh, far out. Oh. oh, he can open the door now. Oh, his brother died. That's the traumatic memory from his childhood. Maybe that's why he created his mind created personalities. That is a memory that he really buried. What are you doing here? Come on, buddy. You were supposed to keep him safe. Steven, let's go. Oh, shit. Let him drown. <clears throat> this is all your fault. Holy shit. Fault. Yeah, I can understand the DID now. We're just about to blow out the candles now. That's what Layla meant by, oh, you and your mom are speaking again. She's not coming. Oh, that's really rough. Your mother's not feeling well, Mark. That's so rough. I mean, he's already dealing with the loss of his brother and then also his mother's rejection. And at such a young age. Steven! It wasn't his fault. It's just a kid. It was an accident. You were always jealous of him. <laughs> Jeez, what a mean Ever mom. Since he was born. What a mean mom. I, but I should have known you would do something. Like what? This. Oh, damn. That's so horrible. Steven! I'm really glad that they're unpacking all of this, though. Why are you remembering her like that? It's not what she was like. Oh. Could please come inside. She will get help. Oh, his dad, his poor dad, too. I cannot lose another son. Oh. Please. Oh. It's so emotional. I want to see this, Mark, you asshole. <laughs> Ooh, this is very pretty. And that's when he met Konshu. Oh, yeah, because he should have died that night. Konshu saved him. <gasps> he was going to kill himself? For real? Oh. What a waste. <laughs> I feel the pain inside of you. I am the god Konju. Do you want death or do you want life? You are a worthy candidate to serve me during this time. He really came at the right time of his In exchange, life. Do you swear to protect the travelers of the night? I mean, and bring how would he know what that means? Those who would do he was manipulating you from the start. Mm. Yeah kept us alive. Mark, he was, he was taking advantage of you. Yeah. Rise and live again. As His eyes look so cool. Moon Knight. Uh -huh. He said it. Moon Knight. Heading in the upper world. Unbalanced souls are being judged and condemned um. to the sands before their time. What? Oh, this is bad. This why? Is... <gasps> oh. Harold, of course. 
You send word to Layla. Please help us free Conchu. Conchu did say, when they take me, tell Mark to release me. If Layla dies, it'll be all your fault. <gasps> Shit. <gasps> oh my God, Mark. Mark, why didn't anyone put you in therapy? Oh, he's back with Harrow again. Oh. I would be so scared. Bloody hell. Look at the state of this place. Oh, Steve. Wow. When danger is near. Steve Grant. Steve Grant has no fear. Wow. Steve Grant. He's been with him for so long. You're going to learn. Oh, no. Oh no. He was beat? I want to see what she did. Oh, that is fucked. All this time I thought I was the original. Oh. Something that you made up. That's, that's hard. To live a happy, simple, normal life. You understand? Mm hmm. Wait, you want to remember the truth? That you had a mother that beat you? Yeah. That hated you? That, that made your life a living hell? Oh. You know, trying to upset me, but you've gotten to live thinking that she loved you, that she was kind, that she's still alive. I, I knew that she was dead every time he called his mom. What are you talking about? She's alive. I speak to her every day. What are you talking about? No, 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 thank you. No. I knew the mom was dead. After your mother passed. Oh. Oi, don't say that. Oh, I'm, I'm so, I must. Are you having a laugh as well? What do we call it? Don't do that. Okay. He knows deep down Thank that, you. No, please don't do that she's not there. Well. Stephen's here. He'd like to speak with you. Well, in heaven. Stephen. I mean, wherever this is, I'm sure like it's possible. Oh, it's a deadline. Symbolic. Deadline and mom. I wonder how she died. Oh, poor guy. What great acting. Incredible acting. What? <laughs> Mom's death and Shiva two months ago was the moment our lives started bleeding into each other. Right. I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. I shouldn't have brought him in the cave. Hey. Poor, poor Mark. You were just a child. It wasn't your fault. Oh. What is happening now? Hey, your scales never balance. What? Our journeys come to an end. They and look balanced. Whoa. Oh, that's so scary. Oh my god. It's like hellhounds or something. At people. Oh, thank god for Steven. <laughs> He's got a bit of a superpower here. Nick, after Mark, but Steven can still make moves. Oh. Ouch! <laughs> wow. He really channeled Mark there. <laughs> behind you, behind you, behind you. Wow. Steven. Holy crap. Completely turned the dude to dust. I'm so proud of him. <gasps> Look behind you. Oh, Stephen. <gasps> oh, he sacrificed himself. What? That's so sad. I love Stephen. No fucking way. No way. Oh. Oh god, oh my god, no. This is so sad. <gasps> I think it had to happen though. I think it had to happen. Oh lord. Oh, that's so sad. Holy shit. <gasps> it's balanced now. The scales are balanced.
So this episode started off very confusing, but it started to make a lot of sense in the end. When Mark and Stephen were set out to uncover their past, and as Dr. Harris said, relive his trauma, I think Mark's subconscious realized that he no longer needed Stephen. And that's actually a very good thing for Mark, although I really love Stephen, and it is really sad. I have to remember that Stephen is actually Mark. Stephen is Mark's softness. Stephen is Mark's love for Layla. Stephen is Mark's love for for history, Stephen is Mark's romance, everything Stephen is, Mark is, and Stephen hasn't actually died or has been taken away. The scales are just more balanced now and his heart is now whole. And I think that's a really positive thing. Although I'm gonna miss Steven, um, I hope that Mark's character in the next episode maybe just becomes a little bit softer because he's learnt from actually having to go through his trauma. It is quite unfortunate that Mark was never given any kind of um, therapy, not that I know of, but I think it would have really benefited him as a kid. I knew that he couldn't have had DID for no reason. I was waiting for an episode like this that uncovered his past, uncovered his childhood trauma. And I'm really glad that they addressed this because I think it's really important. It is strange that we are nearing the end of the season and the third character hasn't been revealed yet. I don't know if they plan to reveal it or if there's going to be a second season and maybe they introduce it a little bit later. But at this point, I think it'd be pretty random to introduce the third character. I think for next week's episode, it would be cool if Mark was brought back to life. Overall, I really love what Marvel is doing with this series. It's not your traditional superhero or your traditional superhero story. This is about demigods and the afterlife and it's really cool to see and I'm having a really good time. I want to know what you thought of this episode in the comment section below and if you've been enjoying the video so far, do give it a thumbs up. We are going to get into episode six and hopefully, hopefully, my voice isn't as nasally in the next episode because this is going to be next week that I watch episode six. So yeah, let's get into it. So up to the very last episode today, I was meant to watch this yesterday when Moon Knight comes out for me. It's 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. And yesterday I was actually at my brother's graduation, which was over in Wollongong because he went to the University of Wollongong. And um, it took a really, really long time. We got to Wollongong at 1.30 registration took a while and then by the time I got home it was 9 p.m and then the next day today I had to wake up early for work so I just thought I am going to film this when I am in a less tired mood because I'm going to enjoy the episode a little bit more and I don't want to be editing up until the early hours in the mornings so I'm here today excited for the season finale of The Moon Knight very interested to see where this goes because in the last episode, Steve, Mark's non-primary character, he uh, essentially died. So I don't know what's going to happen now. Mark is alone maybe? Unless they reveal the third character today. He has to go back to Earth. He has to save Layla. He has to save the rest of the world. He has to bring the Moon Knight back. There is a lot that Mark has to do and I'm excited for it. Just a reminder, guys, if you are after the uncut version, you can find it over on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below for that. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with all of my MCU movie reactions, TV show reactions, all of that good stuff. So guys, with all of that said, let's get into this very last episode together. So who drags this body out? Oh, okay. It's Arthur. Makes the most sense. Whoever else might be in there. Hint. Clue. Stealth kill, my girl. Holy shit. That was impressive. Damn. Oh, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. I always wonder about stealth kills because I always think like these NPCs are just so dumb. If they don't notice that their fellow bad guys are dying behind them. How stupid and dumb could they be? Oh, she gets to, she actually gets to say goodbye to him. Oh, so husband at the end of the day. I guess she's not mad about the whole uh, incident with her dad anymore, which is good. He gets a free pass. You need to show us your soul. <laughs> 
Whoa! Whoa! He didn't even do a test on them to see if they were evil or not. That, okay. Arthur has gone rogue, I think. Is that what his god would want him to do? Whoa. Oh, I thought he killed people. I thought he killed people. Oh, he did kill some people. Others didn't die. So maybe he did do that test, but he can do it in bulk now, which definitely a level up. He leveled up his armament. I am the goddess to wear it. <gasps> <laughs> That's cool. To wear it. That's so cool. If you can return to life, what do yes. You need? Come on, Tawaret. Finish your sentence. He's going to need Honshu. Mark says wonderful things about you. <laughs> I don't know. I'll fight him on my own. <gasps> oh my go. gosh. That's freaking cool. She will be Tawaret. That's freaking awesome that Layla will get her own um, avatar. Damn. Check out that stuff, man. Looks like an alligator now. The disturbance in the force. Hmm. Someone. Yeah. Guess who tried to warn you about that, gods? You won't believe what the gods have hidden from mankind. Evil, evil man. Mark tried to warn them all. I bet they're regretting it. But at least it's a bit of a distraction for Layla um, that this is all happening and she can release Conchu. It's all so avoidable. Don't you break it. Uh-oh. How did I know he was going to break it? Oh. Oh my god. So Amit looks like an alligator. That's why his staff looks like an alligator. That makes sense. That checks out. Your scales lack balance. Mm. So die. He will accept death? As wow. I was bound to storm for 2,000 years. Oh, so she's I doing something different world. now. Scales balance perfectly. Will Do you accept? The past control you. Mm. He was willing to die. Armit wanted to keep him for selfish reasons. Yeah, he dead. He dead. Would you, <gasps> No. No. Get him back. She's smart. She's smart. His lack of focus got him killed. Hey, don't blame her. I don't care what you can offer. <laughs> smart, Layla. No. Bring Mark back, for God's sakes. Oh, Harrow knows. Gets to go to the afterlife. Beautiful. The piece you've always wow. wanted but never had. Now That's amazing. Danger. I'm happy for him. That that doesn't seem fair since Stephen was the better version of Mark. It also doesn't seem fair that his little brother was taken. Go back for him. The injustice. No, I'm not good with that. Good old Mark. He's not gonna. He's not gonna do it again. Wow. He chose the unknown. He chose the unknown for Stephen, and I think he did it because of his brother and his past. Your avatar is a sinner. You are jealous mm -hmm. of his loyalty. He only wants to keep you bound. <laughs> and you just want to live now, now that you realize that you can live. He's like, he's frozen. Poor dude. Oh, stop. Oh no, he's turning to stone as well. And all that, all that field back there was looking at. It's looking pretty good. There's no way now I'm gonna abandon you. Even if it costs him his peace? You are the only real superpower. Mm. I ever had. Please don't let this be the end. I don't want this to be the end for Mark Stephen. <gasps> the heart. The heart. Oh my gosh. They're both okay. <laughs> that's that's remarkable. That's got to be unprecedented. When would this have, have ever happened? I came back. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Well, I, I did a whole little speech there. <laughs> oh, Stephen. <laughs> Go, go through. Oh no. I knew there was going to be a showdown between Konshu and Armit. 
Oh. Oh my god. They need to hurry. Go through the door, boys. Come on. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Stephen's so cute. <laughs> I just... Tolerant! <gasps> yes, I love her! <gasps> there he is! He's come back! <gasps> can't you, can't you? Come, come back inside. Do you want death? Or do you want life? Life. Yes. 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 Check it out. Let's go. This is cool. This is cool. I knew you'd miss me. Layla <laughs> turned you down, didn't she? Uh, Buck Spectre. I was not speaking to you. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a package deal now. Yay. You're have to deal with me. That's so and cute. That's brave, well, for sure. From the best. Now, um, Let's put it in paper. Wow, what a shot. And I do like how they're compromising and allowing each other to assume the body uh, with turns. Fair and equal turns. They know who has, um, who's better for each situation now. Towerette. Bring Towerette. <laughs> yes. I really want to see this. I think Layla will kick ass. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Her position has been compromised. Oh my god. They would do that to an ancient ancient building infrastructure. Oh my gosh. Tower it. <laughs> she looks so weird. Oh my gosh. She's got a cute avatar, at least. A very nice one. My father? Yes, I met him. Oh. <laughs> I think they need to talk about this maybe a little bit later. <laughs> Whoa. Poor Egyptians. Oh my god. That's not fair. Oh, look at all those souls. It sucks because, like, for a lot of these people, that's not even their religion. <laughs> they believe something completely different. What is the point of that? Believing something your whole life and then you get judged by a different god just seems unfair whoa look at Layla oh my goodness gracious girl you look great oh wow check that out <laughs> I love it what a couple eh whoa look at that full moon <gasps> okay so Moon Knight versus Arthur whoa whoa he's doing well and Conchu versus Amit at the same time. Good. <gasps> oh my god. Just slightly different side. views. Be at my side. <laughs> she just expects him to go over. No, it doesn't work like that, Amit. <laughs> yeah! Save your man! Yay! <laughs> Deflection! I love it! That was so cool. Oh! Look at his bumps! Steven! I love the both of them. I love Mark and I love Steven and I love Wi-Fi. them both oh, for Layla. Really jazzed about showing you these new skill sets we have. <laughs> wow. This is fucking. This is exciting! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Two versus one. And they're versing an old man too. So makes it even better. <laughs> yes. Hey. Did not expect that. Yeah, yeah. Get away, everybody. Run, guys. Oh, no. 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 Superheroes in Egypt. Huh? I am. <laughs> Finally, we have an Arab superhero. Only on Mar in Marvel. <laughs> you asshole. I can't believe he used that. What a low blow. 
Okay, first of all, Mark is balanced. So you better take that back. <gasps> oh. Oh, damn. He's down. No, 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 no. Please, no, please, no. A win for Amit? Can't be. No, no. Wow. Holy crap. He can't have come back to life only to die again. Oh, whoa. Holy. Oh, my God. His third personality. It must be. It must be. Layla, tell us what the hell. What happened? Tell. Surely she would have seen. Oh, God. Can't shoes out. Oh, my gosh. He's moving. I think. Could he be faking to not be okay? Ooh. Shapti. Ooh. Is his body levitating? No, but what will happen to Konshu? Konshu doesn't seem strong right now. It's working. I think it's working. It's working. This is epic. Whoa. What happened to Harrow? Wow. Is he going to do it? Yeah, true. Just imprison them. DIY. Yeah, why does why doesn't Konshu do it? Yay. That's great. Oh the fuck is he now? No. Well, this is what reality looks like. This the imagination is very real. Is it? What Mark? Mark. Oh blood. <gasps> From the glass in in his shoes? Well, it is tempting to accept your diagnosis. Dan. I love the shift of um, accents. You'd rather go save the world. Light as gay is. Light as gay is. Wow. Pieced out of uh, hell or heaven or where the fuck it was. <gasps> Stephen. He gets to be Stephen. And he's in London. It's back in London. <laughs> his fish. I wonder what his fish did the whole time without food. Oh. oh, yeah. His place. <laughs> so now he's in a psych ward? Calm down, miss. Calm down. Who is that? Someone's... Uh-oh. Could it be Amit's followers that have taken him? Well, it does make sense that he's in a psych ward. Oh, whoa. A dead body? <laughs> Just throw him in. She went to a psychiatric hospital. Oh my god. So violent with the chair and, and with him. Oh no. Oh no. You can't hurt us. It wasn't Armand's people. Uh oh. Meet my friend, Jake Lockley. Oh wow. So Spanish. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, Konshu knew all along. Spectre. Jake. So Jake Lockley was finally introduced. He's Spanish? Oh my god. Jake Lockley was finally introduced. Now you guys know that I am not a comic book reader, but that was spoiled for me in the comment section of, I think it was like my episode two or three reaction. I can't remember. Must have been episode three because he had done something. Mark had done something intensely crazy and neither Mark nor Stephen remembered what the hell happened. And I just thought, oh, maybe it's Konshu. And then everyone in the comment section was like, no, it's a it's a third character called Jake Lockley. And so for every episode after that, I was expecting, expecting, expecting the third character to be introduced, but they left it to the very end for the post credit scene. And that that kind of indicates to me that maybe there will be a season two. They didn't say there was going to be a season two, like, oh, Moon Knight will return once again in the MCU. But I feel like it, there's a possibility because of the third character. The fact that Konshu knew about his third character as well, I should have known or saw that coming because Konshu is actually inside of Mark as his avatar. So it makes sense for him to have known about that. And the fact that he was so willingly and without any fight or arguments, he set Mark Stephen free 
And Mark and Stephen were like, oh, great. He held up his end of the deal. But really, he just knew that, oh, I don't need to. I could just look like the good guy who kept my word. And in reality, I'm just going to hit up Jake Lockley every time I need murder to be done. So if there is a season two, Arthur will definitely not be in it because he was murdered. So um, <laughs> rest in peace, Arthur. I hated you, but... Shit, I don't know if you deserved to die. I feel like it's almost more torturous to live out the rest of your days in a psych ward slash prison. But I guess that's a matter of opinion. Very great last episode. And I thought that Layla as Tarawet was very, very cool. She being a superhero was amazing. I'm glad that they gave her an avatar as well because she's always been a badass character. Like she's always had that in her, those superhero characteristics to her, the selflessness, the caring about everybody else and the great good um she's always had that in her and she's been a great fighter as well that as well as seeing her and mark fight together was really really awesome i i quite enjoyed that this was a great episode and probably my favorite episode to date i feel like mark came to a great place in, in terms of accepting steven like they both now know who is better in what situation and are willing to share the bodies and they work together now rather than against each other the only thing is he's probably going to have to go through the same thing when he realizes that there is yet another person inside of him, Jake Lockley. And why Mark created this Jake Lockley, I don't know. Um, I think we'd have to go back into his past to figure that one out, just like we did with Stephen. Um, obviously, Stephen was created as a replacement for his brother and a lot of his brother, his characteristics was shown through in Stephen as well. So in a way, he never really lost Randall. He kind of manifested in Stephen and all of the abuse that Mark endured. He didn't have to do it alone because of Stephen. It was really quite nice to have him say that speech because they never had that kind of relationship before. And it was definitely a milestone for Mark in development, in, in character progression and uh, growing as a person. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help my channel out. And you can find the entire Moon Knight season one over on Patreon, the uncut version, as well as every single MCU movie and TV show up until this very point. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with all of my movie and TV show reactions. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.